hey, hey, I want to take this time and welcome you guys to another moment of Keys Table Talk. I want to thank you guys for the support you've shown so far on this journey. It's been a very interesting journey. But while you're at it, please like, subscribe, and share this channel. I appreciate the support so far, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm looking forward to dropping more and more on a weekly basis for you guys. Today's topic, today's topic, uh, it's called Dear Church. Dear Church. Dear Church. I just got some things in a letter that I, I just want to write to the church. Dear, dear Church. Number one, Dear Church, during this crisis, you are still the church. And you have not been called to do nothing. Dear church, you're still the church. You have not been called to do absolutely nothing. The prayers of the righteous availeth much. If not, if you don't feel like you can do anything, at least pray. Pray. Dear church, the body of believers are the church, not the building. The church is not the building. It's the people. The building is the building place where we gather when we worship. I was explaining to someone that the church building is like the place where you go on Sundays or Saturdays or whenever you choose to worship. That's like the pep rally. That's like, you know, when you play sports and you had a pep rally before the big game, you got all hyped up. It was crowded uh, to get you amped up for the game. Sunday or whenever you worship in the building in the sanctuary is the pep rally to get you ready for Monday through Saturday, the game. Just the fill up stop. It's just to fill you up to get ready to serve throughout the week. The building is not the church. It's the people. It's just a place we gather. Dear church, number three, just because we can't meet together does not mean we can't still be active in serving each other. If you guys have not been upping your technology game, you can still call each other, Zoom, check on each other just to see how each other is doing. You can still fellowship even though we can't, per se, physically meet together. You can still be active. Dear church, Sunday service isn't the only day where you can serve or do ministry. That's not the only day for ministry. Not Sunday and not during Sunday service is not the only time you can serve or do ministry. You can actually do ministry daily. Yeah, there's many opportunities to do ministry on a daily basis. You're not just called to do Sunday ministry. It's called daily, weekly ministry. Dear church, you don't need a Sunday sermon to tell others about Christ. I have an old saying that the way that you live your life for God, that will be the greatest sermon you can tell people about God. You know, my man Kurt Franklin has some lyrics in the song that says, sometimes the only Jesus people see is in you and me. Don't need a Sunday sermon to tell people about Christ. Live your life for God will be the greatest sermon. Dear church, number six, you can't turn the Holy Spirit on and off. I'm very leery about people, how they can turn that thing on and off. You got to be either hot or cold. No lukewarm. Got to be on or off. Got to pick one. Got to be in or out. You cannot turn the Holy Spirit on and off. Number seven, dear church, in this season and time, it's the church's greatest time to shine. It's easy to be a believer and have faith when things are going great. But I believe during this pandemic, people want to see in the time of this pandemic, how real your God is. How do you still worship and serve during this pandemic? Are you still faithful? Are you still a faithful giver? Are you still a faithful um, fellowshipper? Are you just taking a break because Corona has caused some things to take a break? 
people can see how real your God is based on how real you are serving and worshiping and praising him in the midst of a crisis. Hmm. Dear church number eight, will you show people the God in you during a crisis? Will you be an encourager? Will you be a light of hope? Will you spread love and unity? There's enough negativity going on in the world. Dear church, will you be that encourager? Will you spread love and unity? Will you shine your light bright? Oh, here we go. Dear church, number nine. God has called us to serve and not to be served. The real true sign of a true believer or a true church is that they're willing to serve. A real servant does not have to be forced to serve. I'm going to say that again. A real servant does not have to be forced to serve. Because he knows the ultimate example of Christ, he came to serve and not to be served. So, church, God is calling you to serve, not to be served. Dear church, don't strive for positions and titles to be seen and relevant. Instead, strive for the title of servant. I I'm going to say this again because... It's so much going on around this time that you got prophet this, archbishop this, pastor this, doctor this, reverend this, uh, uh, apostle this, you know, prophet this. Don't strive for positions and titles so you can be seen or get likes and clicks. Instead, strive for the title of servant. Dear church. It's time for us to be a light in the midst of darkness. Can the community that your building sits in or your church congregates see your beacon of light shining to lead them out of darkness? Can someone that may not be on the side of God or someone that is not a believer, someone that does not have the love of God in their life, can they see the light shining from your church? Can they see that glimmer of light shining from your church to lead them out of darkness? Dear church, number 12, we can't just shout on Sunday and not speak to others during the week. Yeah, you weren't ready. You, you can't just shout and speak in tongues on Sunday and do cartwheels and willies and flips and shouts and spitting everywhere, but you can't talk to someone during the week. You act like you don't see them. I'm not trusting your your uh, uh, heavenly tones. They're discernible if you can't speak to me during the week. You see me, I see you. We make eye contact, but you act like you don't see me. But I just saw you going, No, 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 no. You should be able to speak to me. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. God bless you. Just a nice word. Don't cost you nothing Nothing to be nice. Can't just shout on Sunday. Got to speak to others during the week. Dear church, the church is not closed. The church has just left the building. The building may be closed, but the church is not closed. It's left the building. It's doing what it was intended to do. To go infect and affect the community. We're out in the community. You're kind of forced to be out there now. The building's closed. Pet rally's over. It's game time. Game time. What will you do? Number 14. I'm going to get out your way. Dear church. The church can't be money minded. It has to be ministry minded. Say that slow. You can't be just so money-minded that you forget to be ministry-minded. We're called to ministry first. He said if he be lifted up, he's going to draw all men unto him. We have to be ministry-minded. We have to be out meeting the people's needs. He's going to supply everything that we need. 
We got to go serve. Church can't be just money minded. It has to be ministry minded. I hope you guys have been blessed for this segment called Dear Church. Wow. Dear Church. Like he's calling us to do so much more. It's not just about wearing suits and sitting on padded pews on our blessed assurances. He's called us to go. We have to be doers, not just hearers. We got to go. So I hope you guys have been encouraged. Hope you guys have received something. Once again, like, share, subscribe to this channel, and share it on your social media platforms. And I hope you guys have been blessed for another moment of Keys Table Talk. Until next time, stay positive, stay blessed. Deuces!